High school is a critical time of life for teens as they rapidly mature towards adulthood. It's a time where they learn the key skills that prepare them for college and career. And if given the opportunity, they develop a much deeper understanding of the community and the world around them. Approximately 85% of high school seniors graduate each year in Canyon School District. But not all students take the same traditional path toward that essential high school diploma. Because of my lack of self-esteem, I bullied other kids smaller than me because I was bullied. And I tried to humiliate people and cause problems like that. And because of that, I was kicked out of school. I was in a good home when I started high school. I did everything I was supposed to. But then I chose to do something stupid, which got me thrown out and placed into an alternative program. In ninth grade, I got into a bad environment. I started hanging around drug users that then led me to breaking the law and being expelled from school. Sometimes a student's traditional graduation path is diverted by circumstances that are not entirely in their control. There was a boy who was forced to babysit his baby sister so his party and mother could hit the bars. Others experienced multiple interruptions because of chaotic childhoods, abuse, broken homes, and abandonment. So when I was little, I didn't go to school because my mom was very abusive. Well, she didn't have time to take care of she, We lived in a poor house. So I went to school and I had to take care of my little sister at the same time. In a couple years of this, a cop car, a cop car came in to an apartment building and my mom was taken out and me and my sister were taken into the car. So as that happened, we went into the state. I got taken away from my mom when I was a little kid because she couldn't take care of me and my sisters. And because of that, I got held back in school and I was in different foster homes. I was sent to live with my uncle and found myself rebelling and hanging out with some potheads and developed an idea that school isn't important. It is a common belief that when kids get into trouble, we should help them get back on track rather than simply punishing them. Second chances are a wonderful thing that should be available to everyone. Though no one can go back and make a brand new start, anyone can start from now and make a brand new ending. Carl Bard's quote is exactly the sentiments that Canyon School District is embracing. Students make mistakes, but it's not what they did, but how they fix it and what happens after. As a child, I acted out a lot, especially when hormones, peer pressure, and insecurity came into the mix. Most adults attributed my behavior to adolescent stupidity, even though I had a series of close calls. But the adults in my life were willing to take a stance with my problems. Sure, there are consequences, but all my experiences reinforce the idea that mistakes are forgivable. There are second chances. I've let down a lot of people so far in my life, and I'm working hard to change my reputation around. Thanks to a lot of people, I've been given another chance, and I will not blow it this time. I will be graduating. I haven't liked the consequences I've had to face due to my actions, but I have learned that they are necessary for me to get back on track. I am determined to make things right the second time around. I will not fail. There are no guarantees in life, either for the student or the efforts of a good teacher. Not every student will earn a diploma. Not every student will become a success story. Life's not that easy for kids with tangled pasts. Still, efforts are made on programs that build confidence and change students' perception of themselves. And the best part is watching the students, seeing them transform, seeing how they view themselves in a brand new way. Even with all the roadblocks that I've faced in my life, I realize I've been given many opportunities to shoot for the stars. And that's what I'm doing as I work toward graduation. Even though I still think that it's not important to get a high school diploma to be successful, I'm taking advantage of this second chance to get my life back in order. It's been difficult to get my life squared around, and I've made mistakes. But those mistakes have driven me to work hard on becoming a better person. I am determined to succeed. Some of the students in this district carry more than their fair share of hardship and sorrow, and the odds of success are stacked against them. But hope and a sense of the future are here in equal measure. Will we give these students a vital second chance, and through them, realize the second time around a broad-scale shared commitment and the general dispersion of knowledge?